welcome back. Um, my name is Anthony. Previous um, tutorial, we looked on how to, you know, configure um, what we call conditional workflow, where um, a workflow is trans uh, transition to another state based on certain condition labeled or described in the conditions field. Um, this time around, I intend to go further into configuring email notification, and this time around, all I want um a uh, system to do or ERP next or Frappy to do is whenever a document changes a workflow status, we want to send out an email to the right recipients. Okay, I'm going to use a document here for instance. I have this document and whenever this workflow status changes here, yes, it sends to CEO and recall in our previous session, we say fees less than 300,000. Um, you should send to manager if it's greater than 100,000. You should send to CEO. Now, what I want is whenever this uh, status changes, when we send the workflow, wants a not notification to be sent out to the right um, recipient based on rules. Um, we have rules. I used this user previously. Um, no property rule. We created property role and no was assigned to. So this time around, since I'm working with administrator, administrator has no email, uh, and email will not be sent out. So I'm gonna give this user the property user, um, property manager, and property CEO, and save. So that at the end of the day, when we change a workflow status, or when a workflow status changes, an email will be sent out based on the configuration in the email. Okay, to configure an email uh, based on a workflow status, you go to a doc type called notification. I think you can track notification from um, settings, scroll down under this email, you can find it the notification. Okay, um, by default, um, ERP Next comes with some input notification. You have the um, training event, material request, retention, fixed per year, training result. And this time around, we are going to create our own notification system. We click on add notification, give it a name. I'm going to give it the name of our doc type, which is property. Um, this channel represents for what channel would you like your notification to be sent through? Um, SMS, system, Slack, email. If you have WhatsApp or Telegram integrated, integrated, I believe you should be able to get them from here. Okay, we progress. The filter here says um, the name you want. If an email is sent out, what should be the email subject or title? On your email box, you're going to see the subject. And here is um, a template on how you can, you know, write your email. Since it's a workflow, I wouldn't want to keep writing a uh, workflow draft, workflow pending approval, workflow pending CEO approval. I'm just going to utilize this doc.name and doc.workflow state. Recall I showed you workflow state the last time. Okay. We might have to explore it to see the status of the workflow. Here it says drive, but we can also preview it from the documents. Look. Foreign form. Dot stuck. Scroll down. W workflow state is on draft. Let's check from other document to see the workflow states. And this workflow state is approved. Okay. So that's it. So we are going to access the workflow state. So here is going to say um, document name, or we can say uh, write it as property with the property name. 
you can say draft is on property workflow then the name and the workflow states then the sender should be the email from which you'll be sending it out from i'm not interested in the email this other one is the doc type in question and the doc type is property in your own case the doc type should be the doc um, yours what you want it can be sales invoice can be your own custom doc type you specify it here the standard has to deal with uh, you describing the module you want that notification it's not really necessary but i'm just going to add it okay next here specifies the condition um when do you want this um, notification to be sent out? What condition would you like? Once that condition is met, an email notification um, be sent out. But I'm not going to use this because I do not know the workflow status ahead. I'm not going to say uh, if this uh, if condition is if workflow does state workflow state is draft send if workflow state is sending uh, pending uh, approval. I'm going to use this few days and send a lot on. I want a lot to be sent whenever the a value changes from the workflow. We have this workflow states for document type property. We have different states. We have draft, pending, approved, CEO, rejected, approved, and cancelled. Meaning that I want a lot to be sent whenever the workflow states changes to either of these. Okay, and what value um, that is what fields we want whenever this workflow state changes, then an email should be sent out. And uh, record the sender to specify which email notification account should the uh, message be sent out. And we are done with that. The next is then send property after alert, set property. After an alert is sent, would you like any of the fields? In this property to be changed um not this would you like any of these fields to be changed no i'm not interested in that now who are going to be the recipients you can check this to send to all employees or users assigned to the property in question or i prefer this i want it to be sent to user based on rules you can do a uh, send based on owner. The owner has to do with who created that document. Whoever created the document is the owner. But I'm not going to use that. I'm going to send by rules. We have um three to four rules attached to the document. Let me have a look at it. We have when is on draft. In fact, this draft, I'm going to change to property user. Property user. Save. Okay, what I just updated now is a workflow, the um, workflow transition. That's what I just updated from all to property user. If you have looked through the previous video, you will understand what is going on here. Okay, I want notification to be sent out based on different um, workflow status. The first is I want it to be sent out to property user whenever a um, document is created. You can expand using this edit button. Here is copy, email copy, copy. The condition I want to specify is that whenever this document dot workflow states is equal to draft. I only want this message to be sent out when the workflow is equal to draft. Then it should be sent out. <laughs> you can write an HTML here. I'm not going to write much. Just going to write your workflow state is 
You can write HTML ginger here. It's gonna accept it. Doc dot workflow states. You can decide to configure it to your choice. Then whenever the workflow state changes to then I want the property manager as well. Property manager to receive it when the condition is on your yeah, pending approval when the workflow state is pending approval okay this time around i want the ceo to receive it To receive this when the workflow state is on pending CEO approval. And that just it, I'm not going to move further from here. You can add when it is rejected, uh, when it is cancelled, you send that message. You can configure your message here. You can see what you can use in here, and as it, we can save this. Okay, we can review this once more. We created a notification document. The notification is enabled. It should be sent via email. Um, the subject is property workflow. The document name and the workflow states. We want email to be sent out when the value changes, and the value is the workflow states. And the document in question is property doc type. Then we want email to be sent based on rules, and it should only be sent to some specific rules based on the workflow states. Now we can test um, the workflow. Recall I assigned the property user, property manager, and CEO to this user because this user has an email, but administrator has no email. So we can run a test on a doc type to see if I'm going to open this. Okay, this is 6 million. I'm going to change it to 25,000. When I change to 25,000, the first states it will transit to is sent, sent to manager rather than sent to CEO. At the same time, I'm going to open up my email queue here, refresh it so you can take note of it current email the last email okay i'm going to perform an action and the action is sent to manager now the document workflow state has changed and what is the current state pending approval from our notification system whenever it is on pending approval Dog dot workflow state post pending approval. It should send an email to the property manager. Now we can check our email queue to be sure everything worked fine. And look through it. And record that this at some point the email is sent um, in a queue. So we have to check to be sure that email is processed. I'm going to check um, error log. Okay, an error has just been logged just now. I'm going to read through it. And it deals with connection error. It could not connect to the outside world, to the internet, to push the email. And you see, here it is webhook.nq. So that means the email was actually processed, but it could not be sent because of issue with connection. This means that the message was the email was actually processed, but could not be sent because of network issues. Anyways, I'm going to keep tab on the current error. Error log. I'm going to keep tab on this to be sure that our email was processed. And recall, I'm on local host, so I might have difficulties sending out email. I'm going to 
process the document once more. Another document. I'm going to process another document with a higher yeah, a higher property price. I'm going to send this out. Then take note of the error log if a new log error will be logged. Now, another error was logged and it's still, can you see, failed to send notification. You see the title, failed to send notification. Okay, now you see, it was sent because we use workflow states, not workflow states from the notification. Here are the issue, workflow states, workflow states, workflow states. So we're going to correct that. Workflow. 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 Okay, I'm going to save that and try it once more. Revert to the email queue. Email queue list. Okay, I'm going to use this. Action sent to CEO. It has been processed. We can check the email queue. If it does, if you don't get now, you see an email was processed. You can open the email. Let's read through to be sure that the email is concerned with the workflow. You see that? You see that? Subjects property workflow workflow and since we have an issue here with the workflow state from the notification here work um workflow workflow underscore states yeah that's how we got about at least the email was actually sent and let's see the content from the notification we said it should send to ceo it should send to the CEO when the workflow state says pen, pending CEO approval. And let's check the workflow state pending CEO approval. And recall that in the notification, we actually kind of uh, think something is missing here. Just going to add it here. Doc dot workflow. Last four states. Okay, my message seems to have disappeared. We're going to check why that happened, but for the now, let's check through the email content. Okay, um, anyway, the ad message here Came up, but we're going to check to know why that did not save, why it kept reverting this uh, add your message here. Okay, I'm going to test to know why. Hello, Steve. Okay, it reverts. Uh, one way to test to know why this issue is coming up is we can check the browser console, we can also check um, our terminal. Our terminal seems to be all right. Then we can check the browser console from shift j control shift j and yeah here i got an error here it says on caught in promise error cannot redefine code.js so i may have to you know update my instance and also build this um, static files I have to build use a bench build that shouldn't be an issue but at least we see that um, our system is working and it should send email based on the particular um, workflow state. Now, let me test for 
message sent to property manager rather than the CEO as well. I'm going to use another document. Yeah, and also make sure the price is less than 100,000. And process sent to manager and the workflow states title or subject should be pending manager's approval pending manager's approval we can check the email queue email queue and subjects now you see it says pending approval and everything worked fine and i hope you understand how this was done. If you do not understand, you can drop me. Um, you can drop me a message. You can also live chat me for further questions. I will be glad to help. Um, to reach me very fast, you can actually live chat me on Telegram at first, or you can actually kind of message me directly on my website. You see a live chat button. Once you visit my website, girls.com, you're going to see this chat button. You can actually always send me a message directly. I'll respond instantly to your questions. Thanks once more for um, have spending your time to watch this section. Please do like and subscribe to my channel on YouTube and you receive notification once a new video is made available. Thank you.